So let's discuss the C++ code. As you can see, initially I have declared a node that will be the linked list, doubly linked list node, and I have a key value in it as an integer data type, and I have a couple of pointers, next and previous. Now uh, these these will be the next pointer and the previous pointer, and I have a constructor kind of a thing which takes a couple of values and it assigns it to a key and value. Basically, in order to create a new node, we are going to use this constructor. So initially what I've done is I've created a head and a tail and I've assigned dummy values like minus one and minus one. Okay. And I've also uh, carried a capacity which is going to store the total size of the cache allowed. We have also taken a map, right? Now this is the initial configuration that we decided on. Right after that we have a LRU cache class kind of a thing and which will take your capacity. Okay. And this is going to assign it to cap that is the size and heads next will always point to tail and tails previous will always point to head so this will make sure that the initial configuration is ready after that we have couple of functions right the get function as well as the put function so let's first understand the get function if you remember get stated if the key existed in your cache correct so that means in your map you have to find and if the end point is not m dot n that means it exists in the map if it exists what you'll do is you'll take the node address okay by saying map of key so you'll get the address easily once you've got the address you know the value will be nothing but the value stored in that nodes right so that's why rest node of val once you have done that you have to erase it from the map because this is the previous old address once you have erased it you can definitely call delete node because now it's your task it's your last frequency last recently used guy right so to delete and then insert so delete it I'll, I'll explain you the delete afterwards so delete the node and then add the node so once you have added the node it will have like you're passing the pointers correct so once you have added the node you know the add will be right after the head so what you do is map of key you say to take it as head dot next because that will be the new address head dot next will be the new address so in your map you assign the head dot next for the key guy so once you have done this the value was stored in rest so you can definitely return this so in short get is very simple whatever is the value stored previously you get it from this side then you erase then you delete wherever it was and then you insert right after head and make sure you reassign so that's as simple as that just and after that you can return and if the map doesn't find for an example it doesn't find then what you'll do is you'll return something like minus one because it did not find it correct so that was about the get function I'll, I'll talk about the delete and add afterwards now let's talk about the put function now whenever i see something like put function i have a key i have a value correct so put means we have to put it into our cache so before that we have to check the first step does it exist in your map does it exist in your cache previously or not so we will just get the if it exists we will get the node address wherever it existed okay and what we will do is we will take it out from that position so we will erase it from the map and we will also delete it wherever it existed just in case it previously existed we have to delete it because it's now the last frequently used correct and the other case was we have to check if the size was full if the size was full we have to delete the least recently used so first we have to delete the tail ka previous key because the least recently used guy is the tails previous the last guy so tails previous and you'll get the key so you can delete it from the map and once you've deleted you can delete the node simple these were the two steps that we were performing once you have performed these two steps correct now it's time to insert it right after head because it's the last recently used guy so you just add the node you can just call the insert function and you can add the node with the value key and value once you have done that right you know what is the address of that node head ka next so you'll take the address and you'll store it into your map so in this way you can have the put function also written so that is about your get and put function now there are a couple of things that you have to understand the add node and the delete node so let's understand the add node concept so whenever it's an add node you know it has to be added right after head so assume this is your head pointer which is having a next pointing to some other node correct and this some other node is having a previous pointed to here so this is your head and this is your some other node now you're saying add it add the node right in between so initially what you did was you said temporary can you have head dot next so this guy will become your temporary whichever is at head dot next next you're saying new node dot next will be temporary so you're creating the new node correct so this is your new node now this guy's next will be pointing to temporary now new nodes previous will be pointing to head 
So new nodes previous will be now pointing to head. Correct? Right after that you are saying heads next should be new node. So this guy will now cut off and it will point to the new node. Right after that you are saying temporary dot previous should be new node. So you are saying this previous will no more be there and that will be pointing to here. So in this way you can make sure that right after head the new node is attached and its next is pointing to the node which was previously after head. So this is how you can add a node. What about delete node? Now you have to delete any given address. Okay, so delete node. So assume uh, this is the node that has been asked to delete. It has a node previously. It has a node afterwards. So obviously it will have a next. It will have a previous. This guy will have a next and this guy will have a previous. So this node has been asked to delete. So initially what you do is you say delete previous, delete node previous. So this becomes your delete previous, correct? Next you're saying delete next, delete node dot next. So this guy will become your delete node and next okay so this is your next guy next i'm saying delete node previous that is this your next should point to delete next so i'm saying this guy will now point to this guy correct and the next line i'm saying delete node previous can you point to delete previous so that means i'm saying this guy can you please point to this guy so what will happen is the link to this middle will be cut and I can say now if you iterate the next of this will be this if you iterate the back of this will be this so I have made sure that I have deleted this guy so in this way you can add a node right after head and you can delete any given address node and I can just reuse these functions whenever I'm trying to delete as well as insert now, now what's the time complexity of this get and this put function if you carefully see is it's a big of one operation the delete node the add node are big of one operations the map will take time now you know if you use unordered map the best and the average case is big of one in very rare cases i repeat in very very rare cases if there are collisions then the map might take big of n then it then this is a very lesser probability chance like the big of n occurs once in a million times or once in a thousand like it's it's a very less probability stuff to occur so that is why we generally consider the time complexity when we use unordered map to be big o of one so i can say that like over here there's a very less chance of collision because we're using key values to store hence the get operations and the put operations can be easily called as big o of one operations so this will be it for the c plus plus code so let's now talk about the java solution so in the java solution what we do is we initially have a node okay so we can have a node defined as a class so this will have a key value as an integer data type and we will have reference pointers as previous and next now these reference pointers uh, will have a constructor which will take the value key and the value value and it will initialize it so we have a class which will act as our node for the doubly linked list so initially what we do is we initially create couple of guys that is head and tail and what we do is we initially initialize them with dummy values of 0 0 as key and value and we declare a map okay we declare a hash map and what we do is we have a capacity yes we have a capacity which states that uh, which states the capacity of the cache and initially lru cache is the uh, object function which will take the capacity and it will initialize capacity uh, to be whatever capacity it has been told to and the heads next will point to tail and the tails previous will point to head so that's how the lru cache will be defined so let's now check out the get function so we need to check if it contains like is if it exists previously if it does exist what you'll do is you will get it from the node like you'll get the reference pointer from the map easily so once you've got the reference pointer you know one thing you have to remove that guy correct because now this is the last recently used guy so remove it wherever it was and make sure you insert it right after head okay so once you have done that you know node dot value will be its answer because this is the reference pointer and if you give it a node dot value that will be your answer just in case if it doesn't exist in your map you can return minus one so this is how the get function will look like i'll explain you the remove and insert afterwards now let's come to put now when you are putting a key and a value to someone the first thing that you should check is does the cache contain it previously or not so you'll check it if it does contain now if you know if it does contain that means you have to remove it because a new guy has come up with a key value so just make sure wherever is the address you remove it correct the other thing that you have to check is if the size yes if the size is equivalent to the capacity or not and if you see that the size is equivalent like the cache size is already full then you need to remove the last guy 
So in order to access the last guy, I'm using tail dot previous. And this is why the tail and head concept was used so that you can easily access the last guy and you can easily access the first guy without actually writing a lot of if else statements of is it null, is it not null and all these things. So once you've removed it, once you've removed the least recently guys because the cache is full, you can definitely insert your new guy, the new key and value and you'll make sure that it is inserted right after head because that's the last recently used guy. So this is how the get function and the put function will operate. Now let's talk about the remove function and the insert function. Now what is this remove and insert? So remove basically stated that you'll be given an address node and you will have to remove it, correct? So first, if you're given a node, that means it previously existed, correct? So you need to remove it from the map. So please make sure you remove it from the map, correct? So once you've removed it from the map, what you'll have to do is, uh, this is your node that you want to remove, correct? This is your node which you want to remove. So just call it as node. And this will have a previous node for sure because our initial configuration always had a head and always had a tail. So we are very much sure that there will be a uh, guy at before and guy afterwards. So what he did was nodes previous. So nodes previous was this one. It's next, we'll point to nodes next. So nodes next. So this is how it will point it now. Nodes previous dot next will point to nodes next. That's done. Next nodes next dot previous. Nodes next dot previous. That is this. We'll point to nodes previous. Nodes previous. So what I made sure was this guy who was pointing to this, the cut is done. And this guy which is pointing to this, the cut is done. And I made sure that this guy now points to here and this guy now points to here. So this guy will go as like the pointers have been cut off. So in this way, you can definitely remove it. How about adding right after head? So if I draw the doubly linked list, this will be a doubly linked list of your head. And obviously the head will be pointing to someone. So let's call this someone. Let's the next will be pointing to it and the previous will be pointing to it. Now you want to add a new node. So obviously if you want to add a new node, so that node has been already created. So this is the node which has already been created. So you're basically saying map. Can you please store the address of that node uh, in corresponds to the key? He has done that. Now head dot next will say heads next. So this becomes your head next, correct? Now I'm saying head dot next will be node. So I'm cutting this link. And I'm saying, please, can you point it here? Okay, that's done. So this link is gone now. I'm saying nodes previous should be head. So I'm saying node, your previous should be head. So that's also done. I'm saying head ne head next dot previous should be node. Head next, your previous should be this guy. And I'm saying node next, your next should be this guy. So in this way, I can definitely insert right after head. And this is how I can definitely have our remove and insert functions as you can see in the go of one complexity and if you come back to the get and the put functions they are just using a map dot contains so that's a bigo of one complexity again because you know the hash map works in the average case of bigo of one because even if you don't use a hash map you can probably use an array kind of a thing to directly access it so we can actually call it as a bigo of one operation for the get as well as the put operations because if you use an array kind of a thing to access that will be a big of one operation correct i hope you have understood why did we take head and tail so that we don't have to write the code will be cleaner and easier to understand we don't have to write multiple ifs like if there exists someone before that someone after that we have already made sure that there is already an initial configuration of head tail which assures that there will be someone before and someone afterwards so guys, this will be it for the Java code. I hope you have understood the entire concept. Just in case you did, please make sure you like this video. And if you're new to our channel, do consider subscribing. Bye-bye. Take care.